Greetings. See how far I can get in this video before my phone overheats again. Oh man, I need to shave. Look at this. Look, look. Oh, God. It, look, it just. Ugh, ugh. I packed all my fucking shaving gear. Ugh. On the bright side, tonight will be my last night in the apartment. Move in tomorrow night. Got some bouncing around to do, though. I gotta. So I'm gonna go to work. Um, with a bunch of stuff in my car, and go to my aunt's, drop it off, come home, get my cats and all their stuff, and then go back, and that'll be it. If I don't upload for a while, just bear with me. It's it's a new area. It's a new place. I don't know where I'm gonna film. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I just I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I really do want to get out of this apartment. All I went through here, I just don't want to be here anymore. But oh, oh, tell me, this isn't just look at it, look at oh god, I missed it so fucking much. Look at this shit. Ugh. Yep. Is nice. So, I found out that one of my favorite YouTubers has a P.O. box. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know, but I'm a huge horror buff fan. I love scary movies. Love them to death. I mean, I am a huge... You, I have a box at my buddy's house with like... Easily 100, 150 scary movies, just DVDs, all lined up. So what I've been doing is I've been sending some of my favorite YouTubers a copy of my favorite horror film. And my favorite horror film is 1408, starring John Cusack and... Well... It's kind of hard to even give him a mention because he's only in there for like 10 minutes. But um, Samuel L. Jackson, by far one of my favorite horror films. It's, it's mainly my favorite, I think, because it was the first horror film. I was raised in a very old school style Christian upbringing. Uh, horror movies were not allowed in the house, but I always loved the spook. I've always loved the spook. And so when I got my own place, the first horror movie that I ever watched on my own by myself in my own house was 1408. And despite all the fantastic horror films that I've watched, 1408 is still one of my favorites. It's uh, it's 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 rewatch value is so high because almost every time you watch it, you find something different. And uh, I've been sending my favorite YouTubers copies. I even have the privilege, I don't know if they watched them yet or not, of I have sent a copy of 1408 and watched them open it during unboxing videos. Uh, Ryan Upchurch, one of the best damn rappers on the planet. Art of Kicks, one of the best damn uh, review channels on the planet. And I'm trying to think. MXR Plays. Sent them one too. It's so surreal sending your favorite YouTubers stuff and watching them open it on camera. It's it's like, yo, what? I've sent them knives. I've sent them movies, but I always like uh, the the I call myself like the fourteen oh eight Unabomber. Basically, <laughs> I try to get all my favorite YouTubers a copy of fourteen oh eight. They probably won't watch it, but if they ever do, I would love to hear them talk about it. It's such a good movie. <laughs> I could rant off for days about how good this movie is. It's like, it's so deep. It's like the... It's what Interstellar and Inception are to sci-fi. 1408 is for horror. Anyway. Let's give me a little update. Almost out of here, man. 
almost out of here. I was going to try and hang back for a little bit, try to sell some more furniture, but it was it basically came down to, do you want to start and sell your furniture for a couple hundred bucks, or do you want to get out on time and get a, your security deposit back, which would be my mom's security deposit, which is like 1200 bucks. So I was like, eh, it's probably the better option. Plus, I won't have to help anyone move any more furniture. See, I, uh, I'm excited and terrified. But man, I've had some really good people helping me. One of my coworkers, you know, you, you have coworkers, you get along with them. You know, it's mutually beneficial to get along with your coworkers. But when a tragedy strikes, I have a coworker. I won't say his name because I don't have his permission to say his name on YouTube. But he's come over for like the past like four days in a row just to hang out, see how I'm doing, help me move furniture. You know, he's been taking it. He helped. He he's the whole reason I've sold as much as I have. I mean, I've sold most of my furniture for like 800 bucks, 900 bucks and all that was thanks to him. You know, and then I have my friends who help me move and pack, and it's just, I have a very good uh, base of people in my life who have been astronomically helpful. Um, hell, today I went to work, and apparently uh, one of the lieutenants was doing a collection for me, and they were able to get me like 155 bucks, which is like... That's great. That's awesome. I mean, <laughs> that helps because I've been living here and I don't really have the availability to cook. So I've been ordering food that basically paid for all the food that I've been ordering since I've been here without an ability to cook. I mean, they didn't have to do that. That was so nice of them. I've been doing security 11 years and never had anyone help me with something like that. So I got good people in my life. I really do. And I am eternally grateful. Oh, um, man. It's almost over. Finally going to be out of here. Yeah, I'm moving into somewhere smaller, but still, it's a new chapter. The only sadness I have, honestly, is my poor cats are going to get stuck in a room because my aunt has a dog. And my aunt doesn't do well around cats. She's allergic. So I'm going to have them stuck in a tiny little room until I can finally move. They'll live. I don't like that they have to go through that, but they'll live. Can't lose them. I've had them since I got divorced. I can't get rid of my cats. I am definitely a, a fur baby daddy. I really don't like how that sounds. I am a cat dad. It's not bad. Cat dad. Or baby daddy. Yeah, let's just let me pretend I never said that. But, just wanted to give you guys an update. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching. And I will see y'all later. Bye-bye.